stand up paddleboard session <coughs> at Gosford on the Central Coast, New South Wales. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Um, <coughs> <coughs> whatever your situation, you can micro incrementally over a period of time and with some discipline, minimal discipline, turn things around for yourself. Completely turn things around. But one of the first things you're going to need is can you guess? You're going to need a passion. A passion to get away from what it is that's destroying you, what is harming you what is upsetting you, a drive to say, right, I've had enough of that. You've got to be willing to understand that it might be one step forward, two steps back. You could have good days and bad days where the good days are really good, the bad days are really bad, and in between you have to just persist for your own benefit, persist. That's where we come undone, all of us. Persistence, vision, saying to yourself, right, I want to get off these drugs. I want to at least have a normal, happy relationship as far as it depends on me relative to my behavior and the way in which I present myself. <coughs> I don't want to be your normal substance user, hoping for the best and having lust and demons of darkness that do get influence over you when you participate in these things, crawling all over your thinking and accelerating your sex drive and all this other stuff that is going to affect you in the long run. It's most definitely going to affect you. And many of you would know this, and many of you have probably asked yourself, what is my way out of this? How do I get out of this? Well, you have to accept that it's going to be a journey. And it's a journey that may take you several years. It may take you the rest of your life, depending how deep in you are. But you can bring for yourself a better way of life. And it's going to take a fight, it's going to take a battle, and it's not going to be easy. It's going to be hard. And it's going to come down to how much value for yourself you can muster, muster up to turn your life around. Now, sorry about that siren in the background. There's obviously some kind of emergency going on on the other side of the broad water here. <clears throat> but it's all going to come back to the golden rule. And Jesus, the Lord Jesus Christ, the Word of God, become flesh and dwelt among us. God himself as man said and I'll just go past this fish, fisherman there he is there um, he said wide is the way that leads to destruction and narrow is the way that leads to life and there are a few that find it. And the reason why, there's two reasons why amongst many others as to why few find it. The first one is you need your mind opened by God to comprehend what it meant when Jesus died on the cross for our sins, was buried and rose again. It says in the scriptures that the natural man cannot conceive the things of the Spirit of God. So it's a divine gift and revelation, knowledge given to us 
by God himself calling us to himself through our opening our understanding to what the Lord Jesus Christ did on the cross what God himself did on, his, on the cross how he paid the debt for our sin once and for all solving all our issues with God for time and eternity never to be worried about again through the finished work of Christ the death, burial and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ and the gift of the Holy Spirit now these marvelous gifts that God's given us the capabilities to understand and see these things and to be able to adjust our life and listen to his spirit his spirit will help us battle against our carnal nature which constantly tries to stop us from self-improvement you see we have a self-destructive interfering nature paranoid nature um, lazy nature uh, low self-esteem nature a nature that wants to criticize and despise rather than using all those negative things um, we can by prayer and asking the Holy Spirit to help us to concentrate on the fruits of the Holy Spirit which are love, joy, peace long suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness and gentleness and I've seen and had partners and seen people that have tried to force these things into their life <coughs> but haven't been able to improve their life <coughs> and it's saddening because you see that their body is willing but their spirit is weak you see that their mind is willing but their spirit is weak they just can't bring themselves to turn around and begin the journey of recovery, renewal, restoration reformation and reframing you can come back to yourself it may take years but if you begin your journey now and say to yourself yeah I can turn this I can turn this life around my life around I've had enough of living like this I'm going to go out for a 5 minute 10 minute, 15 minute, 20 minute walk I'm going to enjoy the environment around me I'm not going to be frightened <coughs> of the people around me or what my imagination tries to do to stop me today I'm going to eat something a little bit different or something a little bit better and tonight I'm not going to take that drug or as much of it I'm going to find my way out of it it's going to become repulsive to me the substance I'm not going to depend on it anymore I'm going to depend on the Holy Spirit to lead me and guide me counsel me and teach me and most of all comfort me I'm going to go to bed on time and I'm going to have a fantastic sleep and I'm going to get up in the morning and apply all these principles again and I'm going to train myself with the help of the Holy Spirit and counsel to build a new pattern of life for myself so that myself and the people around me that look to me for guidance and for leadership speaking to you mothers and fathers and things we'll be able to bit by bit and you may have to apologize and ask for forgiveness if you've led people down the wrong path I know many mothers that have let their children become addicts more or less followed in their footsteps and they were kind of proud of it at the time but now looking back 
it wasn't such a good idea. First forgive yourself and say, okay, I was ignorant, I thought it was the way to go, when in actual fact it wasn't the way to go. Um, I've now come to the place where I realise that I need to improve my life, and by improving my life, those that look to me hopefully will come out of the pit that I've got them in with their lives and together hopefully together it may not always work that way but most of all yourself because you can't think for other people you'll begin to escape all the things that have pulled you down for so long and begin to enjoy the improvements and the self-reward system that kicks in when you decide to turn your life around. I'm Dr. J.W. Morrison, theologist. Thank you for joining me and bye for now.